Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Jacanic. I hope everybody's having a great week. I am super excited because today I got my hands on one of the Holtz Former G660 steel clone chainsaws. We're gonna test this bad boy out and just see how fierce it is. All right guys, before we take this out and fire it up, I gotta be honest with you. Although it's called a Holtz Former, which sounds super German, this thing ain't German. And although it comes from a company called FarmerTech, which sounds super American, it ain't American made either. This company is located in Xinjiang, China. So if you're not wanting to support China, then don't buy it. But then again, you know, sometimes you just can't help it. But before we jump into today's video, if you're a fan of saving time, money, and frustration while fixing your own small engine equipment while watching in-depth tutorials, you've come to the right place because that's what I do. I upload a couple times a week, and if that sounds interesting, hit that like button, smash that subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and please comment. I love to read through the comments, and I will reply to all the early commenters. Now, I get comments asking me about this chainsaw all the time, and I've been real hesitant to say anything because one, I only had two commercial customers that actually had had them and they've only had them both for a little over six months. So I wanted to make sure that I would, you know, know exactly what's going on and how well they're running. But these saws have been ran by two commercial customers for six months almost every single day. So now I'm pretty confident in letting you know what I see wrong with them. Now my first commercial guy, he uses this thing like crazy. And the only thing that's ever happened to him, two things actually, is he's brought it in because there's actually a dog, a large dog that goes here with your chain catcher that goes on the bottom. And the nuts that hold it on, this comes in pieces when you get it and you'll actually, you're only buying for $329, you're only buying the power head. You have to put your own bar and chain on it. So you have to install the dogs also. And when you put them on, I'm telling you, use some kind of Loctite something because those nuts will come off. It's happened multiple times to him. And I actually, I have his dog and the lock nuts that I, I got um, for him at the shop. I'm gonna put that all back together for him. But he also brought it in for a carburetor adjustment. But this is the first time in six months and all it was doing really was not idling. And so I was able to get the tack on it, check it all real quick and everything else was fine in it. Actually, the piston cylinder still looked beautiful. Um, but I did need to adjust the carburetor just a little bit, but that was after six months of heavy use. Now the other customer, commercial guy that I have that runs the same exact saw, the only thing I've seen that he brought it in for, two things. The first time he brought it in, he actually had a broken rewind pulley. And now this guy's got arms of a gorilla. He's huge. And so I don't know if that attributed to it or not, but when I took it apart, I could tell that the plastic, it just wasn't made like an actual steel OEM part. It, it, the plastic was just not made as well. So I was able to actually put a real steel rewind pulley on it. That worked just fine. And he's been using it ever since. And that pretty much happened right off the bat when he first got it. So uh, it might've just been a fluke. I don't know. He did bring it in about a week ago because it wasn't running correctly and wanting to die. And it was actually just a bad plug, but the plugs that come in these are junk. If you're gonna buy one of these, make sure that you put a good plug in it because you're gonna end up fouling it out. So let's talk about the quality of parts. Is it really that junky? I don't think so actually. All right, so it's got like this really nice metal wraparound handle on it. I mean, it's actually pretty convenient for this saw. Um, the side cover does feel sort of like a cheaper aluminum than the steel one, but I mean, you're probably not going to have any problems with that. These guys have been running it for a while and haven't wallered out their holes. Um, it comes with a rim sprocket like the other, you know, professional steel saws. And I mean, that all seems pretty, pretty good quality. I cannot complain about this at all. And neither one of them have had any oiling issues. They both use a good grade of oil. I know they come into the shop and they buy um, Echo bar oil or, or they have their steel bar oil. And they also run both of their, both these guys run it with ethanol free fuel and probably red armor or, you know, steel oil. So they're definitely taking care of their saws. So I'm pretty positive that everything on this saw can be replaced with steel parts. I mean, it is a perfect clone of a steel chainsaw. The air filter is the same. Um, everything's just aftermarket, but it's really good quality aftermarket. I'm not gonna knock this saw on that. Um, it has a decompression valve for easy starting, but I don't need it to start it. It has a really easy starting design. Um, 
it has a really heavy duty plastic chain brake. Neither one of them have had problems with that. But what I'm really impressed with, it stuck with the older style fuel caps. And that is awesome because we all know those steel fuel, flip top fuel caps, they have issues. guys i'm gonna be completely honest with you here now i've had two commercial guys running these saws for over six months both of them have come back to me with positive feedback they are very happy with their purchases and these are both guys that have had steel chainsaws large ones and have run them so they know what they're talking about and i can really be confident in their review now i'm going to tell you this is not a steel ms660 a steel MSX60 could hold a 28 inch bar, 32 inch bar and rip through things still, you know, with no problem and perfect ease. I was not that impressed with the 28 inch bar on this chainsaw. Now with the 24, it screamed. It was awesome and I'm, I'm not going to knock it. So I would recommend if you are getting this chainsaw to go with the 24. I mean, if you, you can put a bigger bar on it, I would say up to 32, I think, but if you wanted to really rip through some stuff, I would stick with a 24 and a 20 would just be perfect for it. I would highly recommend using good oil, good gas. Make sure that you use good bar oil because some of the reviews that I saw online did say that they had oiling issues, but they were not using a good oil. And that's, that's the same with any chainsaw. If you're using one that, that's cheap from Walmart or something, it's just going to keep pouring out the bottom on you because it doesn't have the viscosity like those better steel or Echo Husqvarna oils do. So I'm going to say this is a huge bang for your buck when it comes to being a homeowner and needing a large chainsaw to take care of some large trees around the property because, I mean, this thing will probably last you a lifetime. If you decide to get one of these chainsaws, do those few things that I showed you, that some of the issues, just to make sure that you have no troubles in the future. You will want to lock tight those bolts that hold your dogs on. You will want to buy a really good plug to put in it because it comes with junk. Make sure that you use a good oil and bar oil and you should be good to go. So I am definitely gonna keep y'all in the loop on these chainsaws, just to let you know if they do come back in, if I do see any issues, but I got a feeling after six, over six months of heavy use commercially, these saws are still in this good of shape. I mean, it's the most bang for your buck, especially if you're a homeowner who has a huge job around the house and you do not wanna drop $1,200 for a saw, I think this will take care of it. So as of now, I'm giving these saws two thumbs up. If you'd like to get your own, I will leave a link in the description box below. Go check them out, see some reviews, see what other people have said, definitely before you buy anything. But from what I can tell, after six months of heavy use, it ain't a bad deal. So once again, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. I hope this video saves you time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found us on Facebook yet, find us at facebook.com slash Chicanic or find us on Instagram at The Real Chicanic or find us at my website, chicanic.com, where you can get hoodies, t-shirts, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks and have a great day.